Welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. So at the beginning of the year, support for a ban on TikTok, of course, the social media app that says it has 150 million users here in the U.S., that potential ban was bipartisan. It's moving forward, maybe. But now a new survey from Pew Research says that support has collapsed. Steyerwall here to break it all down. Chris? It's rare to find something that political candidates can all agree on. Mm. Uh, but uh, take a listen to this. TikTok is one of the most dangerous social media apps yes, that we could have. And the sooner we ban this, the better. It's a propaganda machine, and we ought to ban it. And uh, I think it is, it is a national security threat. Now, you couldn't get Mark Warner and Josh Hawley to split a cab, uh, but there they are in agreement that TikTok must be exploded with a death laser from space or whatever it is that's supposed to happen. Uh, and for a while, it seemed like America agreed. But we have new numbers out from the Pew Research Center, and here's what they tell us. In March of this year, half of Americans said, yes, it is time to ban TikTok. And then the new numbers got saggy. They softened up. Um, now, you won't be surprised to hear that half of all teens, you know the teens, mm -hmm. they're the worst, half of all teens oppose the banning of TikTok, 50%. But how about this? Among adults who do not use TikTok, look at this number. In March, 60%. Yeah, get rid of the TikTok. We hate it. But now only 47% say the same thing. But it's surely just Democrats who feel this way, right? Nope. Look at the last set of numbers here. And we even have a donkey and an elephant there, so you know who <laughs> is who. Uh, among Democrats, it has gone down significantly, but 10 point, a 10-point drop among Republicans who get to listen to their uh, elected officials and candidates say it over and over and over again that TikTok is the devil. They've lost interest uh, to uh, some significant degree. Why? Why does this happen? And Rebecca Heinrichs, after I am done talking, is going to lacerate everything that I have said and tell us about how the Chinese Communist Party is controlling our brains. But then there's this. TikTok has been on the grind trying to convince Americans that this is okay. And they're not, they don't need to convince the young people who use it because as their numbers demonstrate, this is an extraordinary, this is the most popular uh, website basically in the United States for younger users. Uh, but trying to convince their parents and grandparents that this is not the devil incarnate. Uh, they've been on a good PR push. But here's the other thing. Look at this headline from the Wall Street Journal. How ads on your phone can aid government surveillance. So one of the things that people have talked about with TikTok and the problem with TikTok is the Chinese Communist Party has access to TikTok and they're going to be snooping on you and they're going to do this. Americans are increasingly just accepting of the fact. You, you guys remember that in the old days, you'd get a fraud. Your, your information has been compromised. You've been compromised. Your information has been compromised. This is a big deal. What should I do? Now you're like, yeah, yet again, I suppose, I suppose the yeah. data has been hacked yet again. I suppose people are looking into my stuff again and again. And I think people are, are just inured to this. And I think TikTok has become part of American life. And that is how we broke it down. Rebecca Spiral Heinrichs. Breaks it down. So <laughs> I never thought that there was going to be a ban anyways, because you're not going to ban something that is so popular. Like, elected officials are not going to do right. that. But... Rebecca, well, I would you take feel the other. You, you take the national security view of it. Well, the biggest problem is ByteDance is controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. That's the the mothership of TikTok. And so, if this was an American company with cat videos that everybody was just kind of watching and enjoying, it'd be one thing. But the reason it's so bad is because the Chinese Communist Party does have access to it. And it's not just that they're hoovering up all this data. They're actually able to. Uh, design the algorithms based on what it is you're looking to be able to funnel in particular narratives and information to skew the views. This is why you've seen a skyrocketing support for Hamas in the United States um, be, and uh, correlating with the amount of time these young people are spending on TikTok because that's the message that um, so, certainly fits with what China would have this country believe. So let me just go down the line here real quick. Uh, and just ask, do you think there will ever be a ban on TikTok in some form ushered in from the federal government, signed by the president of the United States, no matter what the party? I think it is certainly possible. This is a dynamic yes or country. No. Give me yes or no. Yes. You think it will be? Okay. Antoine? Potentially. 
<laughs> yes or no? All right, you two are hedging. You two are hedging. You think it ever no. happens or no? No, no. Okay. I think TikTok's yeah, I been think so legitimized. So you have lawmakers, even lawmakers, right. politicians who feel the need to be on TikTok. News organizations have TikTok. It's sort of been legitimized among these stakeholders. So I don't know how you undo we it. Were, Maybe we were, you can. We Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.